everyone, I'm Tone France, and welcome to Tone's Talk Show, ba -dum, ba dum This is a series where you ask me and the characters on this channel questions, and we're gonna try to answer them the most honest way possible. If you have a question for the next episode of Tone's Talk Show, please leave a comment down below. Now, first, let's start with some questions that you guys asked me. Our first question comes from Toka Pal Test, who asks, what inspired your characters? I know that most characters like Ned, Trevor, or Richard are stereotypical, but some other ones, like Kevin and Evan, just hit different. Well, that's really funny that you mentioned Kevin and Evan, because out of all of my characters on the channel, Kevin and Evan are probably the most like people that I know in real life. I don't want to say names, but growing up, there were these twins who I always hung out with, and one was super cool, the other one, was kind of weird, and that's where Kevin and Evan come from. Yeah, Kevin is a stereotypical cowboy and Evan is a stereotypical gamer kid, but they are loosely based on these twins that I knew in real life. But for the most part, all of these characters are just kind of over-exaggerated versions of people that I really knew. Okay, our next question comes from Diego and Mateo, who ask, what was my first Lego set? For this question, I really had to go back pretty far in my memory because I'm 23 years old. I had a lot of Lego sets growing up, but there is one specifically that I remember getting for my fifth birthday party, and I'll throw it up on screen right now. The Darth Vader transformation. I loved how you could change the burnt Anakin into Darth Vader. It was just awesome. Now, here's the big question. Boom Pillow, McDonald's is good, and the nerdy person all ask, who is my favorite character that I play? Now that is a really tough question to answer. My favorite character when I'm being lazy is Richard because all I have to do is put my bangs down in front of my face and put on a hoodie. That's the easiest one and probably the most acceptable to do in public. I also love the main character because he was the original and he's kind of based on me a little bit. Honestly, I love all of the characters. They're just so much fun to play, but my favorite is gonna be a little controversial. Are you ready? It's Evan. Evan seems to get the most views and he seems to get the most reaction from fans. Plus, I just have a really fun time playing the character. All right, I guess that's a perfect segue into our first guest. You know him, you hate him. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Evan. Oh, shut up, all of you. I am the glue that holds this channel together. Without me, Tone France would be nothing. Ah, <sighs> annoying as always, Evan, but that's what we love about you. Now the viewers have a few questions for you. Are you ready to answer? Bring it on! All right, Jackie Poole asks, Evan, do you watch any scary movies or play any horror games? Of course I do. I'm not afraid of anything. I even played Five Nights at Freddy's on my hit gaming show, Evan Plays, last October, and I wasn't even scared. That's weird because I kind of remember you being terrified. I, I, uh, just ask the next question. Ismay Lopez asks, who gets mad a lot when they die or lose in video games? Um, I don't know. Trevor? Kevin? This question isn't even about me. Why'd you ask it? Right, but the correct answer is you, Evan, because you get mad all the time when you play video games. No, I don't! <laughs> okay, next question. Nancy asks, can you and Trevor be nice for 10 years? I mean, I definitely could, but I don't think Trevor could. <laughs> he can't even be nice for a day. Hey man, that is a lie. I completed that challenge and I could easily be nice for 10 years. Ha, the audience hates you, Trevor. No. Those boos are for you, Evan. I'm Trevor. I'm awesome. Right, guys? <laughs> Whatever. I don't even care. <laughs> hey, ugly dude, do you have any questions for me or what? Um, no, actually. That was the only question for you, Trevor. What? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm checking right now. I can't see any other questions for you. That doesn't make any sense. Well, it's true. At least you got more questions than Richard, though. He didn't get any. 
Yeah, I honestly don't even care that I didn't get a question. It's not even like I'm a real person, dude. I'm a character made up by tone. It's like I'm the only self-aware person in this entire group. It's weird. But I'm the coolest! Why didn't I get any questions? Ooh, Trevor, how's it feel that I got more questions than you? Shut up, Evan! Get over here so I can give you a wedgie! No! Not a wedgie! Ah! Get back here, you! Okay! Moving on! Please welcome our next guest to the stage. He has the curliest hair and the reddest shirts. Please give a warm welcome to... Billy! Hi! Wow! They really like me! Yes, they do. Much more than those other two guys. How's it going, Billy? Good! My mommy's taking me to Pizza Hut after this, and I am so excited! Alright, well, I won't keep you long then. Your first question comes from Luke Green, who asks, How long does it take you to get your hair curly every day? Well, I have a full routine. First, I get out of bed, and my hair is super flat, like as flat as possible. And then I curl each strand of hair with my fingers, and then eventually it just looks like this. Wow. That sounds like it takes a long time. Yup, eight hours. So when do you sleep? During school. When else would I sleep? Oh, so that explains your bad report cards. Okay, next question. The pug boy asks, do you like pug? What? That's the question. Do you like pug? Like a specific pug? or all pugs? I'm, uh, not sure. Then yes, I guess? Okay then, final question. Ruby asks, why do you hate Ned? Oh, because he's annoying and he always asks for food and I'm so tired of it. <laughs> that is a good point. Ned is really annoying. But did you ever think that maybe since you run a food show that you should give everyone who works on your show some food? But that would make Ned happy and I can't have that. But why not, Billy? It kind of sounds like you're turning into a bully. I am? No, I can't have that. I never meant to be a bully. Well. Now's your chance to apologize, Billy. Ned, come on out. Here I am. Seriously? No reaction at all? Not even a single clap or a boo? Haha, <laughs> the audience doesn't like you, Ned. Billy, remember what we said. Oh, right. Ned, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that you actually wanted to be treated nicely. I mean, of course I do. Everybody does. Yeah, but I just thought you were different because you're a nerd. Gee, thanks. Can you forgive me? Yeah, whatever. I guess I forgive you, Billy. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Could you guys excuse me for a second? <laughs> Why was I a bully? Why? Okay, moving on. Ned, I have some questions for you, buddy. Oh boy, I hope they're educational quiz questions. They're not. Okay, the first question is from King Thomas who asks, what made you so smart? The answer is simple, studying. I study every night from 4 p.m. to 4 a.m. Wow, you really are a nerd. What? N nothing. Next question is, I'm not answering anything else unless it's a brain teaser. Okay, well, I don't have any, so you can just go. But, but I- Bye bye Ned. Oh man, I really screwed up. I lost my chance in the spotlight, idiot. Okay, let's welcome a guest who's actually fun to talk to. You know him, you love him, he's the most rootin' tootin' cowboy this side of the Mississippi. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Kevin! Howdy, y'all! <laughs> oh, shucks, you guys are just too kind. <laughs> It's great to see you, Kevin. Well, it's great to be here, partner. I'm excited to answer some questions. All right, well, let's jump right into it then, shall we? Terrified83 asks, who is your favorite horse? I love all of my horses equally, but if I had to choose one, it would be Bessie. Well, here's a follow-up to that question. Dancing Banana asks, why are you a cowboy and not a gamer like your brother Evan? Oh, well, I just love the outdoors and horses. Plus, 
My mama is a cowgirl, so I put on this hat every day to honor her. Hmm, interesting. Super Bowser Jordan asks, what happened to you and Evan's mom? Oh, well, she got lost on her horse in the desert of Arizona, and we haven't seen her in three years. Huh. Well, I'm starting to think she's not actually lost anymore. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, nothing. Thanks so much for coming out, Kevin. But don't you have more questions? Okay, okay. I think we're done here. Now, let's take a break from asking the guest questions, and let's ask me some questions again. Among Us764 asks, what's my real voice? Hmm, I don't know. Next question. Retro Jaden asks, who inspired you to make videos? To be honest, not really anybody. I just kind of was bored during COVID in March 2020, and I decided to make goofy comedy videos on my TikTok account. And eventually, you know, I tried things out. Some things worked, some things didn't, but the thing that worked the most was eight-year-old me. So I continued to do him while introducing new funny characters that I could play. And here I am today doing the same thing as I was like three years ago, but I'm loving it. And here is sort of a follow-up to that question. Kenny and P asks, when did I start making this series? If I remember correctly, I think I introduced the eight year old me character back in August of 2020. And ever since then, I've just been pushing along for three years. Actually, the anniversary of when I introduced the main character might be coming up. He'd be three years old. So uh, happy birthday, I guess. All right, here's another big one. Crazy King has been asking for 20 days straight what I use to film and edit my videos. Well, let's cut to future tone for that answer. Oh, hey, past tone. How's it going? I'm actually editing this video right now. You wanna know what software I'm using? Final Cut Pro. It's, you know, not the most advanced system, but it gets the job done and it's cheap. Who doesn't love that? And you wanna know the camera that I'm using? Well, let me show you. The camera that I use is the Sony ZV-1F. It's not the most expensive camera on the market, but it gets the job done. And this ring light is something that I just found at Best Buy, but it works miracles. Great work, Future Tone. All right, let's ask another question. Giovanni Mendez wants to know if the stories are real and do I still keep in touch with my little cousin? All right, so here's the deal. Some of the stories are real, especially the earlier ones. If you go back to 2020 and 2021, a lot of those stories are based on true events. Now, I just kind of like doing the goofiest things possible. So like the stories about the camp or like the cousin getting lost in Disney World, that doesn't actually happen, but it's fun. And I enjoy making that type of content and people seem to enjoy watching that type of stuff. Now the cousin is actually loosely based on my real cousin. Now that little cousin is all grown up now and so am I, but we still do keep in touch. And don't worry, my real life cousin is not anywhere close to as annoying as the cousin in these videos. He's a cool guy actually. But speaking of the cousin, let's bring him out now. Hi! There he is. How's it going, little guy? Good! I like ice cream! Yeah, I know you do. Okay, I have a really big question for you that everyone has been dying to know. Several people ask, what happened to your parents? And why do you live with your cousin and aunt? Uh, my aunt says that my mommy and my daddy went to the zoo, but they're gonna be back soon, so don't worry. She's been lying to him. They're actually dead. Whoa, I did not expect that. Wait, so my mommy and my daddy aren't at the zoo? Seriously, you think they've been at the zoo for over a year? I just thought that they were in a really, really big zoo. Like how Kevin and Evan's mom is in a really, really big desert. Man, there sure is a lot of drama on this channel, isn't there? Anyway, main character, since you're here, I have some questions for you as well. I'm ready to answer anything. Get out of the chair. Okay, what do I do? I don't know, just stand there or go away. I don't really care, just let me answer some questions. Okay, I'm just gonna stand right heel then. The first question for you is from Jason Luna who asks, what's your favorite fast food? I've tried a lot of fast food on Billy Eats, but my favorite fast food is probably just a cheeseburger. Okay, that's kind of a lame answer, but moving on. King Vangelis asks, what's your favorite Lego Star Wars set? Oh, I love the Death Star. 
and the UCS Millennium Falcon. So you just really like the expensive stuff. Yeah, but my mom always complains about that, which I don't understand. Like, I love Lego sets, just let me have them, mom. Speaking of your mom, Super Bowser asks, where's your dad? Oh, my mom and dad are divorced, but I still see my dad on some weekends. Wow, you and I are actually really similar. A lot of your answers match mine. That's weird. Okay, okay, last question. Everyone has been asking this one. What is your real name? <laughs> People seriously still don't know my name? It's, wait a second. Did you say my parents are dead? Yeah, like five minutes ago. Did it really take you that long to understand that? Oh my gosh. Hey, if you need a minute to process this, that's okay. This means I'm just like Batman and Spider-Man. This is great. Seriously, that's what you took from that? Okay. And on that depressing note, let's end the show with one last question. Ahmed sucks at sim racing asks if I'm adding any new characters. And the answer is yes. Kevin and Evan's dad will be in this Friday's video. And here is a special look at him right now. All right, guys, that's it for Tone's Talk Show. Ba -dum -ba -dum. If you have a question for the next episode, please leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching. I am Batman. 